I know I'm a bad singer, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, the actual song is in a different tuning, but I am. Um, I'm gonna do this tutorial on the standard tuning so it's easier because it's very uh, it's very um, I don't know how to say well it's not uh, comfortable to be changing the tuning every time you want to play the song so well you can play it with a capo on the third fret or you can play it without a capo or when, wherever you want um, I I'm gonna teach you the chords to play it. I'm also gonna teach you a little things, uh, a few things I did to make it sound like the original song. Let's see. First, I think he, I think he starts, well, with a different tuning, but with this tuning, I think it's something like this: a finger on the second fret, string six, and play the upper two strings. then it would be like a G chord. Well, I'm gonna teach you the chords first. You're gonna need a G, fingers on the third fret, strings one and two, and also on the sixth, and on the second fret, string five. And then an E minor, fingers on the second fret, strings four and five. C chord, fingers on the first fret, string two, second fret, string four, and the third fret, string five, and a D chord, for, uh, for fingers on the second fret, strings one and three, and the third fret, string two. You start with a and then you change to a, the G chord. And now you can just play the G chord, but I think it what he does is kind of like this. With um, these fingers stay the same, but this one you have to do first you take it away then you move it up to the 3rd fret, so it's like... See? Take it out and move it. So well, he starts like that, and then the song. First, the G chord. I sense a runner in the garden. Then you change to the E minor. And I like to add a finger here on the third fret, string two. Then C chord. Although my judgments know to fail. And D chord. And you can play here with this. Um, 3rd fret, string 1 You're gonna start putting it, or adding it, or taking it away And then you come back to a G So it's like, and then you repeat the same again um, I was still here. It was built a steamboat in a meadow and he, This time when I put the C, I always Put first these two fingers and later add the third one. Because oh. um, I forgot how to say it. Now the verse. It's gonna be C, D, G. Um, I don't know the 
Warner is going to tell you. And here he does a thing, and I think in a standard tuning it would be like this. These two fingers, you are gonna take uh, the lower one on the first string and take it from the third fret to the fifth fret. So it's. I know, you know, the runner is going to tell you. Start here with a finger on the th that finger stays a finger on the third fret string two and on the third, five, fifth fret string one. This time from the fifth to the seventh. So it's like and you know the runner's going to tell you. Then again, so now he's buried by the daisies. I think it's like that. Well, so that's it. You can feel free to add uh, things that you like, or you can just play the spread always with without anything, just the chords. But if you add uh, if you add stuff like the fingers going on, like going around, it will look better. So good luck. Uh, I hope you are able to play it, and um, yeah, that's it.